What is good, Hell Wizards? Welcome back to a brand new episode. Today we're doing another episode that I love so much, the Seasons Prestige Master. Now yesterday we looked at Season 1 Prestige Master and today we're looking at Season 2 Prestige Master. Um, I, did, I know I did these a little bit uh, late, but I didn't really take time or time off to really concentrate on these challenges. I always had either one or two left and uh, that's what really took me a lot of time. Uh, but yeah, I really do enjoy loving... Uh, yeah, I do enjoy doing these videos, loving these uh, calling cards. Um, I do believe like it's a lot, it's, it is a lot of effort, but since I'm a completionist by nature, uh, I do love uh, doing those. Today we're going to be talking about Season 2. I'm going to be looking at every single one of these uh, calling cards and how to uh, give you guys tips and tricks on how to like uh, get them as quick as possible. If you're not interested by that or if you are if you think this is a boring, you just want to get straight to the, to the killing video. At the end of this video I have footage of a uh, clash victory with a lot of kills in it. A lot of the objectives in, uh, in here that I uh, did them in one single game you're gonna be seeing it in the footage as always I always like to uh, end all my videos with a win whether it be in BR, Plunder, uh, Clash, Payload, King of the Hill, whatever it is, whatever video it is there's always a win after every single video. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, let's start with the calling cards. Protective Overwatch using a sniper rifle to kill an enemy who was injuring a teammate 10 times. Now I first started doing this in uh, BR, I thought it was a good idea, but it was leveling up very slow because you got to make sure that you shoot the guy while he's shooting at your teammate and uh, to be honest it goes so uh, it goes so fast that a lot of times you do miss it by a few seconds, a few milliseconds. So the best way to get this is actually by playing one of the special events such as King of the Hill or even um, Payload. I'm not too sure about class because class is very chaotic. People are always using these uh, meta guns, but for payload, a lot of snipers are over there, so you have a higher chance of running into a sniper. As well as uh, as well as King of the Hill. King of the Hill, you have a lower chance, so I think the highest chance of you uh, getting these as quick as possible would be payload. Hot drop, kill an enemy shortly after skydiving five times. Again, this one, the uh, I mean, you can do them in BR, especially if you end up behind someone, pistol weapon. In uh, Plunder 2, since you have your loadout, but the fastest way possible would be to get it in either in payload or clash mode. Even King of King of the Hill, because you can just land anywhere you want. Uh, a lot of respawns, unlimited respawns, so uh, it does increase your chances of getting uh, 25 times uh, these kills. Guerrilla Warfare: Get 100 minutes using a weapon that you have picked up. Now this one I have to actively go for it because I'm not really into picking up people's loadouts. Sometimes they're shit, sometimes they're good. Uh, but again, a great way to do this in the background, of course, is BR. Just as soon as you kill people from the start, they have loadout, grab it, and get as many kills as possible. I think that's how uh, I got the majority of these, because uh, I was playing a lot of BR, especially New Surgeons. Um, I'm not a big fan of, uh, of Redansk, but I'm a huge fan of Rebirth Island. But again, another way to get these is also to actively go for them, and I would suggest going for these... Uh, not necessarily special playlists like uh, King of the Hill, but maybe a Clash. Clash would be not bad because uh, people are always camping by buildings. So if you clear one building, grab a gun, and you can go clear the other one. Get a lot of kills going on for that. You have clean kill, kill an enemy without taking damage a hundred times. Again, this one is either you're sneaky, come from the back, shoot people. There isn't really any tips or tricks for it. Maybe dead silence could help, uh, but again, for the hundred kills, the best way to do them in these uh, high chaotic games. Suppressing fire, give five animations with an LMG. LMG is great if you're playing Clash, um, you just destroy people in LMG, you don't even need to reload. Uh, people die much quicker than is either Plunder or BR. You can even play with Payload, Grab, go on top of the um, of the truck, I mean sorry, on the back of the truck and mount it to the side of the truck and just shoot people down. Brup, brup, keep 100 multi kills with SMGs. Um, this one really the best way to do these multi kills is either, for me to be honest, is in Plunder. Uh, even in BR, you down one guy, wait for his teammate to come and get him and then shoot him. That's how you get a collateral and you get a t uh, team wipe. And of course the uh, multi kills. The only problem is if it's uh, duos, trios or quads. If it's quads you really gotta make sure you kill three um, to go four people before one guy kills himself because if he kills himself it's no longer a multi kill. So then you really need to be downed. The best way to get these is really in the final circle where everybody doesn't really want to give up. Um, but otherwise you can also get these uh, multi kills in uh, what do you call it? Clash mode or um, what do you call it? Uh, King of the Hill. Arms dealer. Acquire 50 score streaks or kill streaks from care packages, supply crates, or buy stations. The best way to buy these is in uh, class mode. Class mode or payload. You get a lot of money. You can spend a lot of uh, score streaks or kill streaks. What I would suggest is uh, just getting the maximum amount of money in class and then go buying the uh, cheapest, such as the UAV. Just keep buying them. I know what that the last game I got 10 UAVs. So I mean, 50 is nothing. 50 is really you can get in five kills in five games. 
uh, before all these special playlists we used to do these in uh, plunder and that would take a lot of time because you would have to sacrifice 4,000 for a single UAV so it did take a lot of time shell to get 50 point plant kills with shotguns uh, I'm not a big shotgun fan but the best way to get these is actually in uh, in plunder or BR if you don't have your loadout use it as secondary down the guy get up close and personal and shoot him similar to uh, pawn black kills uh, even though a lot of these uh, chaotic gameplays offer more chances but the chances of you getting a close and personal with somebody without somebody else seeing you is very slim so BR and uh, plunder would be your best bet cybersecurity threat using the spycraft or spot or kill enemy with a hacked field upgrade now this one the small tip and trick that uh, you can have is actually of course if you're not playing multiplayer because it's super easy but if you're playing warzone is to play um, a payload for some reason payload there's a small glitch in there that since if you're killing people and you have a lot of uh, perks going on if you throw a uh, field uh, upgrade such as the um, what do you call it the uh, trophy system and actually blocks all these uh, uh, grenades sometimes it's gonna kill the enemy so if it kills the enemy even if it's your own it's not supposed to work but it does work at least this is how I unlocked the cybersecurity thread um, I don't know until when this glitch is gonna be there but it's gonna help if it doesn't help uh, it's going to be very very complicated for you guys to get this in Warzone multiplayer is very easy just hack a field upgrade whatever it is a mine or something and it's going to kill people incendiary warfare get 15 kills with a Molotov lethal equipment again this one either you down people and plunder finish them off with the Molotov cocktail or play one of these uh, clash modes clash mode is great a lot of people are camping inside buildings uh, their health is very low even in payload so just throw the uh, Molotov cocktail strategically and you're going to get a lot of mono kills Good ammunition, get kill 50 enemies while using ammo acquired from the salt pack or ammunition box. This one is really something you can let uh, happen in the background. Um, the best way also to get is to, um, when your teammates use your ammunition box and kill people, it does count for you. So if you have teammates, just make sure they always grab your uh, ammunition from your ammunition box. Deception, kill 25 enemies that are near or close to active decoy grenades. This one I actually got it uh, in the background just by playing, um, what do you call it? Just by playing BR. Uh, you don't have uh, any uh, attachments, any guns, you just have your basic ground loot, you throw it in one direction and people are going to go there and try to make sure that you, you get them from the back. Another great way to do it is to play these uh, clash modes, especially when you have to, uh, uh, what do you call it, get these uh, recon uh, or these uh, ABC locations, you have to secure them. Just throw in the middle, it doesn't have to be anywhere uh, else or really next to the enemy, just throw in the middle and just kill everybody uh, who's uh, next to that area who's trying to secure the, the point and this is going to count so it's going to be super easy 25 enemies it's nothing you can even do these in i would say okay two games if we're being reasonable bump in the road using proximity mines to destroy five enemy ground vehicles this one is one that i love the most just because it's uh, so what's one of these uh, that you can just clip it and put it online to to be a troll you know i mean all you got to do is throw your what i do is i put two proximity mines in front of me and then i pretend like i'm running away from the truck or the car and they always fall for it and they end up being destroyed you can always uh, put these if you don't want to really focus on uh, trying to lure someone in put them in the streets where it's really narrow or ones that you know there's a lot of traffic such as downtown or maybe even that bridge between downtown and uh, uh, what do you call it promenade east toxic behavior kill 50 enemies with gas grenades or who are affected by gas grenades now i have to admit this one is pretty difficult to get it's uh, you need a lot of patience you down someone gas them and then finish them off before he even realizes or what I did to finish this off is actually go into these small quarter rooms and people are going to be going coming towards you always have a shotgun for a secondary throw the gas grenades and then when they're going to come in they won't be able to see anything but you will because you're not affected by the gas and just blast them with the shotgun and uh, you're going to kill them that's how I finish off me that toxic behavior well rounded get a kill with at least two different weapons without dying a hundred times this one is pretty fun to do if you're playing all these uh, clash modes it's, it's easier of course if you're playing these uh, a payload would be a bit hectic to do but uh clash mode or king of the hill are pretty good go with an smg or an assault rifle an smg and a, and a uh, sniper get a first kill with smg that way that's uh out of the box and then head back a tiny bit and use your sniper or if you're better with the uh, smg use your sniper first and then try to close the distance and finish off with an smg Looting and plaguing <coughs> and pillaging. Sorry, replenish ammo 250 times using the uh, scavenger perk. This is super easy. Um, I mean, I would suggest doing this in uh, plunder, just because you, if you drop on, uh, if you kill someone and then you go, you go on his body, you have a higher chance of getting it without being really killed. But if you're playing one of these clash modes, it is so chaotic. There's always someone camping. So if you're trying to, they always see their friends where they died. If you're trying to get that, 
Uh, I mean, if if you don't care about dying, it's all good. You can always uh, just run around and uh, over corpses and get all get all these uh, scavengers, um, scavenge packs, and it's gonna count for your scavenger perk. Bullseye, get ten kills with a tomahawk or a throwing knife, lethal equipment. Now, the best uh, advice for me to you guys is that you play plunder, equip it as your uh, as your main. Uh, lethal equipment down a guy and finish him off with a throwing knife not only is it satisfactory it makes great footage and it's also easy to do um, and their heads get 100 headshot kills this one of course is something that is really straightforward I was just playing with the uh, I mean uh, what do you call them um, snipers because they're very precise at least you can aim for the head again plunder and BR they do offer a lot of uh, headshot kills for some reason it's much easier to do them to do headshot kills than in the other uh, game modes I don't know why, but the headshots are always uh, something that I've always had an, uh, an ease into getting. Iron Sight Assassin, get 300 eliminations while using a weapon without scope or, or optic attachment. To be honest, this one I did in the background just by playing BR. Um, I always, of course, I actively chose the weapons where I have, uh, let's say, the Car 98 or one of these um, attack rifles that are single bullets. They usually have a, uh, uh, what do you call it, they have no attachments or no, uh, no optics, so that Iron Sight and uh, it's usually pretty pretty deadly too so uh, you have a higher chance of falling into one of these tactical rifles or semi-automatic weapons with no uh, optics than any other any other weapon and anti-vehicle this is the one that that uh, made it that uh, I took all this time in order to get this one unlocked is because of this anti-vehicle destroy 75 enemy ground vehicles you don't understand how difficult and how long this is of course I had to do these before all these special playlists came in and now that the special playlists such as clash came in where you have a lot of vehicles everywhere it did help me but I had 65 I believe and that's when this came out the uh, clash mode so I only had 10 left and I think I got 10 in like maybe one game or two games I'll show you guys in the, um, at the end of this video exactly that game I believe at least I got seven eight in one single game while usually I would get one one on a good day on a good game you know one just in plunder playing plunder I would always equip that uh, ghost class and the pila and honestly, to go into a ground vehicle and kill it in once, because usually people take the big breath, a big breath it takes two hits, so it's not even worth going. You will never have time to reload and shoot it again. They're either going to leave the vehicle or be uh, long gone. So you always got to target the smaller vehicles. Make sure you don't miss because of all the hills and everything. It's a very hectic challenge to do. But I suggest if you're playing clash mode, then definitely, definitely, definitely um, um, go with that. And uh, especially if it's in... Uh, like the game I'm going to show you guys in a minute, especially if it's downtown, the the middle street there's always cars and vehicles and everything. Either set booby traps, um, such as uh, I don't know, you you can play with the C4, you can play with the proximity misers in the middle. People are always going to go there, or even your pila to target actively each and every one. And that is how you unlock the season two prestige master. I'll show you guys what it looks like. I have it equipped. Con a card. Here it is, season two prestige master. It's a pretty nice one. It's a guy with fire holding skulls. It goes great with the Hellraiser uh, name tag that I have. That's pretty much it for this video. I'll show you guys footage of a uh, clash victory, a few uh, kills, and some nice gameplays. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy and have fun. Soldier in
Might not be so lucky next time. 